Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm on the beautiful coast of Galicia in Spain. And today, well actually for the next couple of days, we are gonna go on a seafood tour. Wow, oh wow. That's one of the best lobsters I've ever had. And the seafood coast here is known for having some of the best, freshest seafood in the world. This is one of the most beautiful fish, Big Eye Sea Bream. And I'm gonna share all of the amazing Spanish seafood all coming up with you right now in this video. Here we go. Seafood trip today. You ready? Oh man. <laughs> we are in, where are we? Oh, oh, Ogrove. 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 <laughs> Ogrove. Ogrove, Spain, Galicia. Kevin, well, what's up, man? Again. Yep, five more minutes, we will start eating the best seafood. We, we drove like 100 hours to get here, crossing <laughs> Spain. Yeah, we really crossed Spain for this, for this for restaurant. This. Got 35 speeding tickets along the way. Uh, 36. <laughs> <laughs> And so again, this area is especially known for seafood. Not only seafood throughout Spain, but some of the best seafood in the world that you can get. Some of the freshest seafood because of the deep waters, because of that Atlantic current and the way the river flows into the ocean. And Diberto is one of the greatest seafood restaurants in this entire coastline. <laughs> oh, these. these are the ones. Oh, there they are. The cigalas. Cigalas. Roberto, the cigalas. This restaurant is at the bottom of a little three-story apartment complex. Apartments on the top, seafood paradise on the bottom. Paradise. Roberto. Oh, oh, oh. It gets, it gets better. Fish, grouper, uh, bonito, tuna, wow. several fish, delicious. It's a uh, Galician staple. What is it called? Uh, empanada. Oh, it's an empanada, okay. <laughs> oh, the empanada. The Galician empanada. Oh, <laughs> look at the layers of that stuffed with crab and a variety of fish, local fish. That's beautiful. Wow. Three fishes. What an aroma. <laughs> Galician pizza. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that is so good. Oh, the variety of seafood. What a harmony in this like very thin dough. Sweetness from the onions. Mm. Amazing way to start this meal. Okay. If wow. you agree, I can spray it for you. These are the Marisco Hotel up the road. Uh, yes. Oh, there they are. How many pieces do you want? Barnacles. Barnacles. Goose barnacles. We have here two kinds of uh, razor clams. Razor clams. The regular ones and the long ones, okay? Mm -hmm. These are milder and somewhat sweeter in flavor. And you have to be eaten raw as an alternative to the oysters. Mm. Worthy dinners. Wow, scallops. Beautiful, juicy cockles, oh. and then the fine clams. Everything is from Galicia. Everything is from Galicia. Yes. Everything local. One of the great things here is that they show you the fresh ingredients uh, before you order it, before you eat. That connection with the sea, the ultra fresh seafood that they serve here, and oh. just the vibrancy, the freshness, the colors of those seafoods. And I mean, we're gonna have some of those amazing razor clams, a variety of shellfish, shrimp, but those cigalas are really one of the, gonna be one of the highlights. Carneiro. Wow. Like giant clams served with lemon. You can squeeze the lemon on, but he said to try it first with no lemon, so. All right, can't wait. Let's go. Look how beautiful these shells are. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Tastes like the ocean in a shell. It's like the texture is incredible. Nice clean flavor without being too salty. I think that's very important. Yeah, without being too salty, yeah. True, true. Pure flavor. So sweet too. Almost like a scallop on the inside and an oyster on the outside, all in one shell. Two textures. 
Mm. 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 Much better with the lemon. It is. Quite up the flavor. Mm -hmm. And you can yeah. still taste the I clam. Agree. I agree. These are the little local red shrimp. Look at the detail. They're so beautiful. Look at that color. And you can actually just pop the entire thing in your mouth. Head, tail, legs and all. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. It's like seafood broth. Just emerges, bursts out as you take a bite from the head. And the body inside is so sweet. They're like little popcorn shrimp. Mm. I'm gonna try the next one by pulling off the head. Sucking out the juice and then eating the body. Mm. Mm. It literally, it's just the pure taste of the sea. Goose barnacles look like dinosaur paws. <laughs> dinosaur feet, what a beautiful seafood creature. They're in really rough water on the rock, so just seawater just keeps rushing into it, rushing into it, and they're extremely hard to harvest. Oh, yeah. He's gonna show us how to do it, how to open them. Beto, is this your first time doing this? Yeah, yes, it's the first, first time. time. First time. <laughs> this, no, only this. We, yeah. never, ah. never, never, never this. Never break that. Ever, yes. And then you. Oh. Oh. And, Nice. Come on. You. For you. No, 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 no. Right, hey, For do. you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> For, For you. Him. For him. Uh, ah. <laughs> An honor to get a Persebius from Alberto. And this open. Open. And this is for me? Yes. Yes. And open. And this. Oh, the inside of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, I like this. I like this. Oh yes, you got it. That's what you gotta do. You gotta break it at the base. So you kinda get that first, the body part. Mm. It's so good. It's like the juiciest octopus and squid in texture, but more seafoody. Just like literally, you can taste the waves like crashing into these goose barnacles. You can taste the flavor of the waves. I, I would say that they're not even as seafoody as the clams. They're more... They have more character. Yeah, they're more depth of flavor. Yeah. And I gotta peel back that. And more than the shrimp. How do you get that little bite out at the... You gotta pluck it out, sort of? And, and, and chew it out. Pluck it out, there we go. I think I got it. Whoa, it has like a, a plastic casing on it. That's like the claw, basically. Oh, it is the claw. Whoa, look at that thing. It has feet. It has feet. <laughs> The feet have a bit of a different texture to them. So it's an honor to be in the kitchen. This is where they prepare the seafood. Oh, okay. These are the blood cockles. The cockles. <laughs> and she is the main chef. Amazing. Oh, hola, buenos dias. Oh, okay. So I think those are our razor clams as well. I think some of the dishes are ready, so I'm gonna go back to the, to the table to start eating again, but then I'll come back, we'll, we'll see the preparation of the fish. These are clams or these are the cockles? These are cockles, I think, right? Is that big cockle? But they're not blood cockles, they're just straight cockles. Plump and juicy, sweet and salty. Scallops. Wow. This is a totally different scallop than I've ever seen before. Yeah, it has a black shell, and then the ratio of shell to meat is impressive. It's almost more meat than shell. Algae, still connected to the shell. Uncleaned. Never had anything like that in my life. Wow. That is straight up seawater, sweet, crunchy. Almost the flavor of an oyster, actually except with the, the sponginess of a scallop. And razor clams. Oh, yeah. oh that's yeah. amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. That. 
is unbelievable. And next up for the monstrous, supersized razor clam. I mean, similar, obviously, but maybe the bone one a little bit lighter, sweeter. Oh, really? Sweeter, yeah, fine. Different texture. Wow. Yeah, totally different texture. Almost like, like just crunchy and sweet. Okay, we got some more clams in olive oil and black pepper. Mm. Okay. Here it is, one of the things that we've been waiting for, the cigala, the giant claw. That claw to body ratio is actually the same size. It's huge, it can wrap around your face. It looks incredibly juicy and sweet. Yeah, that claw, start with the tail, the body section. Oh, it just slides, slides out before we move into the, the other parts. Wow, that's... Look at the meat, it's incredibly silky. Mm. Wow, yeah, the sweetness is unbelievable. Yeah, it's like syrup starts to come out of your mouth when you keep on chewing, it's that sweet. Mm. Oh, that garlic oil, wow. These are unbelievable. It's like the claw tastes like crab. The, the body tastes like a combination between shrimp and lobster. Next up, one of the house specialties here is the fried lobster, Atlantic lobster. So he slices off that, slices it in half. That color is amazing. It's so green on the inside with all that roe and tomale but even the meat is green in color. de oliva. Yeah. The best. He pours in about a half a bottle of olive oil, almost submerging it, and that's gonna, the cover goes on, it's gonna cook for two minutes, exactly. Fried in olive oil, nothing else. Finish it with a little bit of salt. Oh, garlic oil. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. Oh, served with potato chips. This lobster looks spectacular. All right, guys. Weird looking claw. Oh, I see. I'm going in for this chunk right here that has. No, do they all have that? They all yeah. have this, right? Go for it. This row with the. Go for it, man. It just slides out of the shell. Fried lobster. Look at that. I got capers. Mm. Mm. No, that's the tamale. Are you kidding me? It's so sweet. Oh wow. It's got the most flavor I've ever had in my life. That's the most flavor of any lobster I've ever had. Yeah. That, that roe is unbelievable. It almost tastes like cheese. That roe is like peanut butter. It's unbelievable. Okay, here's a meat, meat part, so perfectly cooked, not overcooked. It's not 
it's not withery, it's not dry, it's so moist. And just simmered in that olive oil. Wow, oh wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> what he did with the claws is he sliced them up. So you got the insect side, you got the cross section of claws, which is rare to see a cross section of a claw like that. And scoop it out. Mm. Oh, that is, that is stunning. Barbecue, imita eh, el oven con papas, o todo, todo con papas, como quiera. Half and half or all potato. Yo recomiendo esto, esto, en la brasa, okay. en barbecue. This is one of the most beautiful fish. It's a sea bream. Wow. Sea bream, big eye sea bream. And I believe that the eye is so big because they're very deep sea. So they can see in the very deep, dark waters. Look at that eye, it's like jelly. Okay, we have to do, kiss Gilberto hair, did a kiss. Hair, kiss. kiss. <laughs> the kiss. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Wow, spectacular. The sea bream, wow. That is incredible. She hacked it into a butterfly. Muy rico. Con grasa, con grasa más mejor. Ah, okay, okay. Para barbecue, the fish. So the fat is the best on the barbecue. Okay. First, this grill barbecue, and this in the oven with potato. Oh, with potato. Okay. Yes, sir. yes, sure. This part. So two ways. Barbecue. Barbecue. Okay. And the another part in the oven. Okay. With potato. Okay. Only. Yes. Why, why? Sure. Okay, no That head is huge, the eyeball is massive. And then the body is gonna be a different, totally different spot style that we saw earlier in the kitchen, baked on a bed of potatoes. Wow. Wow. Huge head, huge eyeball. Spectacular. Oh. Oh, 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 it just flakes apart. Look at how oily it is. And this, the cheek. Wow. What about the eyeball? Wow. Uh, for the eyes for? Wow. Oh. Come on. Yes. Vamos. Si. Eyes for? Si, 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 si. Vamos. Served by Berto. <laughs> mm. Oh. And now. Oh, it's so good. It's like fish soup and jelly. That was the eyeball. Here's the eye socket. Yeah, oh. mm. You gotta do the socket. My favorite dish, my favorite dish of all I sell here. Your favorite? This. There is the the ice. Ice. your favorite dish of all you sell here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Kevin's going in for the socket. <laughs> he did it. Fine dining eye explorer. <laughs> it's a big mouthful. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Good. The greatest eye experience I've ever had in my life. That literally filled my entire mouth with this soupy, jelly, fishy eyeball. This is the most buttery fish I've ever had. Look at that. It glistens. 
Wow. Man. Oh. That might be the most buttery fish I've ever had in my life. Oh, man. I cannot even believe that texture. It melts in your mouth is an understatement. It's not even flaky. It's just butter, straight butter. I don't know if I've ever had an oilier fish. It's like pure, it literally is melted. It's melting on the plate. That is, that is an insane fish. Is that? Silky butter oil. Omega-3 is just squeezing out. Wow. Oh, what is that? Palometa. Palometa. Sí. Patatas. Patatas, cebolla. Patatas, cebolla. Aceite. Wow, no that's nada más. amazing. Cebolla, patata, aceite, the y big venga. eye, big eye sea bream. Big eye sea bream, potatoes, oil. Ay, lo va. Ay, gracias. Ay. Oh, look at that. Final dish coming out of the oven. There it is. Oh, wow. Tray of potatoes, wine, and the tail. That smell, it's so incredibly aromatic. come to the final dish, turned into another five hour meal in Spain. <laughs> but this was one of the most unbelievable seafood meals and it seemed to just get better and better throughout the meal. When we got to that lobster, I was just blown away and the sea bream just almost took my breath away. Now the final dish baked with potato, the fish oil there. Okay, so all of that fish oil just comes out into the potato. A little bit of fish, a little I'm bit of potato. potato. Yep. I'm going, mm. Mm. Oh. Wow. What? Wow. The, the potato what? absorb all the flavor. What? Huh? And then everything fall apart, melt in your mouth. That might be the best potato I've ever had in my life. For sure. It's literally caramelized in olive oil and fish oil. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Fish. Fish. This is yes. <laughs> unbelievable. Potato. <laughs> this fish goes straight into the holiday. Yeah. No need to throw this just no. some. Cheesecake for dessert, like the type that's just melting and oozing. Wow, and caramelized slightly on the top. This is a Deberto family recipe of cheesecake. Mm. Yeah, that cheesecake is insane. Just melty, oozy, not too sweet. What a way to end. What a meal. Gracias. Ciao. Gracias. Ciao. 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 Muchas gracias. Can you remember the, the empanada we ate? It, no. <laughs> that was like that a was like yesterday. Yeah, that seems like it was yesterday. That was a spectacular seafood meal, starting with all the, the progression of raw seafood, building up to the, the cigalas, the lobster, and then the fish to top it off. It's still family run. They're so friendly. They're so inviting. They're just fun to hang out with and they really appreciate you when you love their food. That was a spectacular meal in Galicia, Spain. I drove about an hour to Santiago de Compostela, which is the biggest, the capital city of Galicia and it's a historic city, it's an incredibly beautiful city, so I'm off just to walk around a little bit this evening, see especially the cathedral, before more eating tomorrow. Wow, this place is spectacularly beautiful. So much history.
Welcome to the Catedral de Santiago de Compostela Basilica. And it was completed in 1211. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The basilica has a capacity of 1,200 people. It is 100 meters length, 70 meters wide, and has a 75 meter height. I think I'm gonna call it a night from here because tomorrow we're gonna to wake up early and we are gonna continue our seafood tour driving up the northern coast of Spain to another just extremely famous, well-known seafood restaurant, which is gonna be another incredible seafood experience. We had about a three and a half hour drive today all the way from Santiago de Compostela to the province of Asturia and we're in the small little beachside town which is called Playa de Vega. Unfortunately, it's a pretty rainy, drizzly, cloudy day, but this village is incredible. It's a beautiful village right up against the coastline. Welcome to Guayumar. They're especially known for canned or tinned seafood as well as grilled seafood. Abel, oh, mucho gusto, mucho gusto. Wow, it's, that is the freshest bream. <laughs> I just love this place immediately step inside it's cozy it's spacious there's just like you can tell that the entire well we just met we saw the bream immediately upon entering it's so friendly such a family wonderful welcoming atmosphere and I love how the fire is just straight up the entire center of the restaurant it's not even they have a kitchen in the back. The fire is here in the front. And over here are the tins of seafood, which they're also legendary for. Thank you to Luis for this special wine, which is a La Bota de Manzanilla. Cheers, Luis. You're a good man, Luis Sancho. Thank you. Thank you, Luis Sancho. <laughs> May you live a long and prosperous life. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that is, that's special. Man, it has this almost roasty, caramely flavor to it, but without being sweet. Delicious. So tin seafood is legendary in Portugal and the north of Spain. And of all the people that do it, Abel from Weyomar is the Jedi Master. The best in the world I've never of tin seafood. I can't oh. wait. This is a real honor. Yeah, this is a real honor. He, he popped open two cans for us. The angulos, these are the baby eels, and sea urchin, preserved in what looks like just olive oil. Almost look like little pasta, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So delicate. Yeah. You don't feel the bone structure at all. They just feel like little meaty, flavorful, almost sausage flavored. It's incredible how it can be like preserve its texture in the, because it's such a delicate thing that literally liquefies. You would think it would fall apart. Yeah, it liquefies. Oh. So it's just a different creature. It's so sweet. It's but there's it no just relation like, to sea urchin. It just like transforms the texture totally. Transform. Rather than liquefying in your mouth, it has more of a meaty texture with that same amazing sea bitterness. And these, I mean, these tins are really considered a delicacy in Spain and Portugal. And I mean, you can tell why. Mm. Mm. I think that's how it's truly grolified with bread because you've got that oil that's flavored with the seafood. Superb. I don't think I have any hundred points for Wolfer Parker. And this is the aceite of the lata? Hard cheeks. Oh Hard cheeks with a... This, this is the oil of the canet.
peas? Oh, oh, the green. Oh, yes. All the peas. All the peas. Fire roasted peas on top. The thunder in the background to give it ambiance. With summer peas sprinkled on top. Cheeks. Cheers, guys. All right. Mmm. Mmm. That melts in your mouth. No teeth required. The peas are just kind of smoky and give you a, a like a burst in your mouth. Fresh meat skin, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Next up, sea cucumber, same peas, a fried egg or a poached egg almost. Totally different from the sea cucumber, sea cucumber that I'm usually used to, which are these giant gelatinous chunks. Mm. Wow. So elegant. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I mean, even the texture of the cucumber is not gelatinous at all. More like meaty and just so much flavor. Like a tagine. Wow. Yeah, it looks like a tagine. Thank you. Gracias. Wow. That's just barely probably kissed by the grill just to absorb a little bit of the smoke. You still taste the rawness. I had seen him on the grill roasting vegetables over the fire. It's finally come. This is spectacular. Spain has so much good produce. Right. And then we also got another famous dish here, which is blue lobster. Looks in a, in a bit of a oily sauce. Called salpicon. Salpicon. Like an oily olive oil sauce with just bits of lobster oozing all over the place. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh wow. That, I totally thought it was gonna be hot. <laughs> did you think it was gonna be hot? I did. Cold, refreshing, oniony. The broccoli. Cauliflower. Mm. Oh. Smokiness is just embedded into every vegetable. You taste the fire. Look at that char on the carrot. Oh, wow. The sweetness, I can't even hold it in the fork. It just slides up the sweetness of the carrot, the fire roast. It's still crisp. You can eat this with a straw. Onion. Mm. Mm. Here we go. The main event has arrived. This is the bream, and I love how he slices it, steak style, but then reassembles it onto your plate. So you have the head, you have the tail, you have the steak fillets. This is one of the most buttery, one of the greatest fish on earth, and he just has perfected it on the grill. Yeah, you got game. Another bone, all ready to eat. Mm. Mm. It's just such an unbelievable fish. It's so clean, so buttery. Oh man, it's so clean tasting. It's that fatty fish, so like the oils just come out of the skin, form this pool of oily fish broth. Hey, that, Kevin, that's that. you. Yep. Mm. Mm. I love this sea bream. Truly a magical fish. Okay, I'm going in for the tail. Abel, he just really showed me that he crispified that skin on the outside. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, the tail is so buttery. Mm. 
So good. Mm. The next bite is like from the inner part of the head. Final bite of the bream. It's like the inner, the inner face cheek. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, that's the best bite. So buttery. Like turns to liquid in your mouth. Oh man. What a fish. Two days in a row. Well, time for dessert, and one of the famous desserts here is arroz con leche. So it's rice, like a rice pudding. Go, Kevin. To end another outstanding seafood meal. Mm. Wow. It is pretty sweet, but really milky. Cinnamon on top. And just mostly cream and just a little bit of rice in there to change the texture. Para considerarse gran soledad. Pero no lo traigo por eso. This is quite special. Oh, look at the color. Smell like prunes. Prune juice. <laughs> I've never had anything like that. Wow. Oh, that's a way to end a meal. Oh, it's so yeah. good. It tastes like maple syrup and prunes. Amazing. And so it is still raining, drizzling pretty hard, but I just had to come out here after the meal and it is spectacular. This beautiful river flowing into the ocean, the sea, green hills, mountains surrounding, mist all around. This completes an amazing seafood tour in Spain where we started in Galicia. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that that sea bream with the potatoes, that was the highlight dish of this entire seafood dish. That was the highlight dish of this entire seafood tour. Absolutely groundbreaking delicious. I think what stands out to me about both restaurants is that they're so product driven. I mean, each of the restaurants, the preparation was so simple, few ingredients, few seasonings, but it highlighted the freshness, the local seafood, the freshness, the quality of the seafood. And so that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also remember to watch more videos in this Spain food series. We're going around Spain eating some of the most delicious food. So lots more videos that you can check out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye from Spain.